but yeah, it's been it's been just a crazy few weeks. Everything sucks. Not apologetic. Nonsense. Man, it has been endless problems with the dog lately. It is crazy. If you'll notice, this stylish back brace this <laughs> son of a gun's got on. So he started having, like, he couldn't, like, stand up in the morning. You know, the dog's sleep in my bed. Like, right. he would, like, army crawl because he couldn't, like, pull himself up. And he started doing a lot of howling, a lot of, a lot of crying. So I took him to the vet, and we did some x-rays. And it turns out he has this disease. It's, it's a disorder, but it, it's essentially a disease called IVDD that eats away at parts of his vertebrae. So after that, we must have caught it right in time because it turned into like crying fits. Like I haven't heard a human howl out like this. Back into the vet, out of the vet, into the vet. We started him off on anti-inflammatories and gabapentin, which is like a nerve medicine. So when that didn't work, we, we added a uh, muscle relaxer to it. And then when he was still having a lot of trouble, we added tramadol to it. So he is on a complete cocktail, right? <laughs> and it's just now seems like it's starting to work. But over the past, let's say, three weeks, I haven't slept. Like, I have to keep his pills beside the bed because he's going to wake up. I'm going to, like, like, I have learned to just sleep like this because if I so much as, like, twitch or move... He wakes up and goes into a complete panic, starts screaming. So I also have been sleeping with a flashlight next to my bed. So I got to turn the flashlight on, get up, straighten him out if his legs are locked or whatever, get him all good, give him a pill, lay back down, only to do the same routine 15 minutes later, possibly. Now, the vet says they've uh, there's this new drug that literally just went on the market in the U.S. like this week. It's called like Libra or Libra or something. I've been reading about it, and they did a bunch of studies in the UK. And for this particular disorder, it's supposed to work wonders, but it's an injection in the spine. Yeah. So he called me the other day, the vet, which, by the way, my vet is amazing. Like, I can call him up. He'll call me back. He'll make time. He gives a shit. You know, fucking great. Not going to say his name because we're full of filth and flipper flamber. But <laughs> he's like, the shot's ready. You can come in today. You know, we'll make time for you. And I'm like, you know what? I think you need to go ahead and try that shot out and some other dogs, you know, and maybe get back with me. Now, if the fits continue and it still becomes a horrific thing for him, maybe I'll change my tune. But I figure he can inject a few other dogs in the <laughs> spine first, get a little practice right. <laughs> in his, his, his form, you know, just in case there are some mistakes. But, yeah, for the first time, it's gotten to a point, like, I always, like, look down on people who put down their dogs. You know, I'm like, you fucking piece of shit. You know, I'm like, I'm in pain every day. The dog can't be in a little bit of pain, you know, because a lot of people do it way too quick. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, he's becoming a hassle to us in our day-to-day -day life now. So fucking kill him. See you later. Do we want the body? No, chuck it in the garbage. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> this was the first time in the midst of all this and my sleep deprivation and everything, and I'm like, what kind of a life is this? Like, is this going to come to this? You know what I mean? Is it going to come to a point where I have to make that call? And that's a pretty shitty position to be in. Yeah. So here's what really winds up happening is the dog breaks down into these crying fits. I can't do anything for him. I can't even touch him or it gets worse. So I sit down and I start crying too. <laughs> and then we're just two crying bitches <laughs> on the living room floor, you know. But mm. <laughs> yeah, it's got awful. But we've had a, a good days the past few days, you know. I think the back brace helps a lot. It's actually pretty cool. It's like a back brace you'd wear, you know, around your lower back. Because it's got the hard springs, rods right here. It's got two of them in the back. It's got the straps that go up the ass. Well, not <laughs> up the ass, around the ass. And it just keeps him taunt, you know. But they say he can't wear it 24 hours a day. I wish he could sleep in it. So lots of times, like, I've been taking the tramadol. And if he's not having a bad day, I don't give it to him throughout the day. And then I give him his daily dose before bed so both of us can get some sleep. I'm actually starting to read about dog sleeping pills. Yeah, bear with me here, but it's like, <laughs> I'm not sleeping. He's not sleeping. And it pisses me off. Like, I'll be up all night. I'll get like 48 minutes of sleep, maybe, right? And then, like, I get up and I start doing stuff around the house. And then he just lays down and sleeps all day. And I'm like, you little <laughs> motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, 
I can't do that. You know, if I go to sleep during the day, it's just going to ruin tomorrow. Right. You know, but yeah, it's been, it's been just a crazy few weeks. Everything sucks. (laughs) (laughs) You know, and I did already have one person be like, you know, well, that was my dog. You would have, we would have done, took care of it. And I'm Mm -hmm. like, you should never own an animal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What is your animal situation like these days? Do you still have the cats and that one fucking bitch of a outside, inside city cat? Yes, she's still going on strong. <laughs> Dogs wise, though, I had to get rid of my bigger one. Something struggled with, but with the job I have now, working 12 hours, and then he just spent most of his time in a crate. And he's got so much energy, he wants to run. I live in a little duplex with no yard. And uh, I was trying to rehome him. Well, he got out. As soon as he gets out, he's gone. He got picked up by the Humane Society. Mm. So I went in and he put him up for adoption back up. So I had to go in and sign the surrender papers. And I'll tell you, that sucked. I'm sitting there signing it, crying in front of this lady who's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, she (laughs) she wasn't going to fuck you anyway. Yeah, no. (laughs) uh, It's like, I feel horrible. So it's like, give him a good home. Put down on his profile. He needs to run. He needs a yard. But does that mean he actually gets a place? I don't know how shelters work. Like, he actually gets a placement? Like, he will get adopted? Yeah, they're a a non-kill shelter. So he'll he'll be there until he gets a home. They won't put him down or nothing like that. Can you see if that happens or? I'm not sure. I think I could probably check the website, see if he's on there or not, because they list all the dogs for adoption and everything. So, See, how's the cat work, though? So the cat just runs the fucking neighborhood? Pretty much, yeah. And then all the neighbors are cool with it? <laughs> yeah. All my neighbors are too high and shit to give a shit. So they enjoy the cat. Because <laughs> yeah. it would, I would think all she of She really doesn't take... really go too far. She'll, she mostly stays right there in front of the house, just sleeps on the porch pretty much. And you know, if you have one old lady in your neighborhood that feeds that cat, you're going to never see that cat again. That is going to become that, she always that comes woman's home. cat, you know. <laughs> but I guess I, I'm lucky in that aspect because, like, you know, my dogs have acres and acres. They yeah. can run. They can hunt. They can do all that. They know the the uh, the border of where they can and can't go, you know, the road, for example. But, you know, my house is, like, tucked back eighth a mile from from the actual road, so I would right. have to really not be paying attention to him. And I'm in a fortunate enough situation that he comes to work with me. So, like, even when he's been having trouble, he's gotten, well, before he started having trouble, he's gotten, like, a nice bed in both shops. So, like, he's got a place to lay down, and, like, today it was cold, right? So I went in the cabinet. He has his own heaters. <laughs> One for each shop, then like circle heaters you get from Harbor Freight, you know, yeah. they're about 12, 16 inches round. And yeah, he has, he's the warmest person in the shop. There's no <laughs> central heating, you know what I mean? So when it's cold, it's cold. But he's right in front of a heater and he's just a, a toasty boy, you know? <laughs> he's good to go. But yeah, it kind of sucks. You get attached to these animals. And then I got this warrior prince right here who, you know what I mean, has all of a sudden at eight years old become very weak. Very fragile, very careful where you touch, you know. And I can't let them run. That's probably about the hardest part. I have to exercise them, but the vet's like, dude, you got to exercise them, but you can't let them run. And I'm like, how the fuck does right. that work? <laughs> so I built the the ramp I have on the porch I built was for, I have an elderly dog, uh, and that dog refuses to use it, right? (laughs) But all it took was one day for me to train Simon to do it. So I think he noticed the stairs were hurting him, like felt pain, because he took to that, he was scared of it before, and he took to that ramp, and now all I got to do is point at it, and that's where he goes as opposed to the steps. So now I built that ramp. I'm going to have to build a ramp for the recliners in the living room, right? (laughs) Just one I can move around wherever I'm sitting, and then one for the bed. Because I already, dude, it's getting insane. I already have pup <laughs> stairs going up to my bed, right? He will not use them. They wiggled, wobbled on him once. That's done. He's like, nope. The trust level is zero. <laughs> it's not happening. So I put uh, weights, like uh, plate weights, you know, like uh, barbell weights on the back to where it doesn't do it. But he won't even try it anymore. <laughs> and the other dog won't use ramps. So I'm going to have a freaking four-foot ramp <laughs> and a set of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all your furniture on my bed yeah <laughs> all over the freaking house but if that's what i gotta do i guess that's what i gotta do but yeah he's on more pills than i am 
And I just kind of self-incriminated myself a little <laughs> bit there. But what's crazy is his x-rays look a lot like my x-rays. I, and it, it, it about brought a tear to my eye when the vet showed me. I looked at the x-ray, and I've been in enough tubes with all my issues <coughs> that, like, I know what I know what those dark areas are in the spine, you know? And I'm like, oh, shit. Except mine are in the, like, top going down, and his are in the side, uh, intervertebrae area. So, yeah, but we're going to try to keep them strong. We're going to try to keep, uh, hey, hey. Want to say hello? Want to say hello? That's good enough. That's good enough. We're going to keep him strong. I do notice he's glassy-eyed, though. You know, like, he he is a little effed up. And that's a whole <laughs> nother thing that I've been, I've been avoiding the inner conversation I have to have about that. Do I want him to live messed up his life? You know, like, fucked up? Because right. it's not like if you take a pill and you're like, yeah, I took a pill, so I feel fucked up. He's like, what is going on? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like, he doesn't know what happened. I just gave him a T-R-E-A-T, and he's like, oh, that was good. Whoa. <laughs> so that's a whole other choice Fuck I have to make as well. Or do I let him be in pain? And, you know, he can't tell me. I wish he could. Right. You know what I mean? I wrote a song about it one time. I don't remember what it was called. It was part of New Track Tuesday. I did uh, my dogs talking to me, and then me and, me and Simon went and... Uh, I don't know, smoked weed and robbed people. You know, the kind of stuff I do with my dogs. <laughs> but yeah, what a depressing episode. But yes, we love our dogs. Will you be well? Will you get better? Could you hear that? All right. Thomas, are you stupid? Good night, everyone. <laughs> Not apologetic. Nonsense.